I was playing with carbon fiber and I went too big too soon. 3D printed a smaller sculpture and we're gonna master the molding process. Make sure to bookmark this, we're gonna go through the whole process of how I use platinum silicone mold. First, I'll need to create a simple box for the sun goddess. This is the plan. If you plan to fail, you fail the plan. We have all the measurements so I won't get lost. I designed the box in a free software called Blender on the desktop. We're gonna have a bottom, a second bottom, made some walls, made the box, and an insert. Next, I take the super simple box into a slicer. I'll be printing this with my bamboo A1 and X1 carbon. Made some parts orange to contrast the blue. After 40 minutes, our box is done. Remove it from the build plate and let's assemble it. I designed the box with max precision, so when I snap it off the build plate, the pieces will snap together. This will ensure no liquid will leak. Add a big glob of hot glue to the bottom of the model. It will adhere to the plate insert. The blue water washable resin contrasts nicely against the orange. This plane will cause a little suction so nothing floats up. Remember when I made that mistake with the McDouble? Pick off the hot glue. Now we have a super, super simple mold box. I'll be mixing BB Dino Platinum Mold that I got on Amazon. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, equal parts A and equal parts B. Use a little bit of math to get the exact volume. Non-stick popsicle stick. Stir for a good two minutes. The mixture goes into a vacuum chamber and this will draw out all the air bubbles. The pump sucks out all the air. Then we have negative atmospheric pressure. This creates an environment where the liquid will start to boil, I think. All the pockets of air exits the liquid. After about three minutes, all the action seems to calm down. While that's going, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of man's mold release. Pretty soon, all the bubbles go away and it's time to reintroduce some pressure. The chamber pulls in the atmosphere and then the mold will look calm like a two-year-old. Pour it into the lowest corner of the mold box. This will ensure we capture all the details and we don't introduce any more air bubbles. Usually I have a little bit left over, but the math be mathing and we used it all. I'll let the mold set and it'll start to harden. I'm gonna let it set for 24 hours. I came back like 15 minutes later and it's leaking just a little bit. I designed the second bottom at first just in case. I don't think it's gonna leak any more than this, but this would just catch the excess. I'll see you tomorrow when we demold it.